from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. It's good to see you. Come Thank on you. in. Thank you. Pull up a chair. I will, thanks. Well, how are things at Westinghouse? Oh, everything's fine. Oh, you can say that for me double. I tell you, Phil, I finally found the answer to success in the appliance business. Well, I found And does I... it work? Here it is. You can write it on your cuff. Don't meet competition. Make it. Sure, Ellis, but... No buts about it. The thing works like a charm. You use that approach on any prospect and you sell her 100% on any Westinghouse appliance she's shopping for. And when I get through telling her all about our big competition makers, well, there's nothing for the little lady to do except buy. I know, And this but... isn't just conversation. I'm working at it, and I've got a sweet record of sales to show for it. Now, wait a minute. Will you let me get a word in? <laughs> the floor's all yours, but don't you say anything against that. Oh, not me. I just want to know what made you change your mind. What do you mean, change my mind? I'm asking you. Now, look, the last time I was here, I tried to sell you this idea. Don't meet competition, make it. But apparently, you weren't buying any. Oh, that. Well, why the big switch? Well, to tell the truth, <laughs> was really nothing. And then suddenly, you give me a big pitch about an idea you wouldn't even warm up to a couple of weeks ago. Now, come on, what happened? Well, it, it didn't really happen. That is, I, I don't think it did. You're talking in circles. Ah, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. You'd think I was slightly balmy. Try me and see. Well, if you promise not to laugh. Whatever's convinced you that you should make competition, I'll applaud. I promise. This is gonna sound screwy. Well, I was at the end of last month. I hadn't been setting the world on fire with sales, and I wanted to find out why. So I stayed at the store one night, went over my sales slips, and the list of prospects I'd fluffed. Got kind of late. I guess I must have dozed off. is doing in the store at this hour of the night. Oh, he's muffed some sales. He's trying to find out how it happened. Oh. We'll leave Ellis to his own problems. Let's stretch our legs. And uh, see what the girls are doing.
those cheap running water again. Running water is slow tonight. The night is still young. Somebody call me? Yes, I did. Come here, Ernest. Did you call me, Speedy? No, it wasn't me. What'd you say? I said it wasn't me. Frosty wants you. Oh. What do you want, Frosty? Open me up. I've got a bone to pick with you, Ellis. Uh, some other time, Frosty. I'm tired tonight. You should be. You wear yourself out losing good prospects. Frosty's telling Ellis the facts of life. Uh-huh. Hey, don't shut me up. Can't we do this some other time? No, I've been doing all the work long enough. Now I'm going to make you take over. I have. I'm working my head off. That's what I'm afraid of. Look. I'm ready to put on my act, am I not? Sure you are. Oh, sure. Well, then why don't you plug me in? Go ahead, Ellis. Do it. Now things are going to pop. I'm a quiet fellow, don't you agree? That's what I tell everybody. You tell them, but you don't show them. Like that nice little lady this afternoon. I know she wanted me, but could you sell me? No. I'll be back, she said. You hope. I explained what a wonderful feature your Frost Free is, didn't I? And what did she say? There were others around she wanted to look at. That's where you muffed it, Ellis. Well, I couldn't stop her from shopping around. You should have told her to do it. And do you know why? Well, I, I think I do. Oh, I certainly do. I'm not so sure that you do. And here's why. If she compares me with any other refrigerator she can set her eyes on, then she'll know I'm not meeting competition, I'm making it. My frost-free is the first and only defrosting that's completely automatic. The only one. I didn't hear Ellis say that to his prospect today. This is a good show, don't you think so, girls? Yeah. Very good. I'm intrigued. No end. In 1950, I introduced Frost Free. No one else had it. Today, everybody's talking about it. But what are they saying? Alice, get that magazine on the table over there. I want you to look at one of our competitors' ads about defrosting. Yeah, the ad says defrost itself. Yes. That's what it says in display type. But what does it mean? Read the small print or look in the instruction book and you'll find out just how you have to defrost. That's right. You know, here in small type it says, frost does not build up in the fresh food section. That's what I mean. I'm making competition, not just meeting it. I'm making it so tough for those guys, they try to hide the truth. <laughs> Everybody knows you have to defrost the freeze chest in these models? Everybody knows, do they? Now, Ellis, how about that nice little lady today? Did she know? Did you tell her? Oh, well, I... Of course she didn't know. She's probably been reading the ads and she's confused. But I'll bet she'll never think of checking that instruction book that tells her just what she has to do to defrost the freezing compartment. I don't have their instruction book to show her. So what? You could have shown her my instruction book. That would explain how I work. Then just sort of suggested that before she buys any refrigerator, she should be sure to check what the other fellows say about defrosting the freeze chest. Hey, you know, Frosty, I can use your instruction book to prove what I say about you. <laughs> yeah, here it is on page six. What frost-free means and how it works. It'll tell you, for one thing, that after defrosting, I go right back to cooling. Now, open my freezing compartment, Ellis. I defrost so fast, frozen foods and ice cream don't even know it. They stay cold, calm, and collected. 
especially cold. And put this down, Ellis. I measure the need for defrosting. I count the door openings and defrost exactly when and only when I need it, not when a clock says so. Demonstrate this like Betty Furness does, Ellis. Each time my door opens and closes, that knob pushes the counter button there and registers the opening. When the door's been opened enough times for frost to form, the counter button automatically sends out a signal that starts the frost freeze system. Thanks, Ellis. And another thing, there are no valves or solenoids added to my refrigeration system. I'm still as hermetically sealed as I ever was, and I'm the only one who defrosts that way. Got it all, Ellis? I sure have, and I'll tell it, too. Good. Now we have other things to talk about. While we're up here, let's look at the butter keeper. Hold half a pound of butter, just the right temperature to spread. Aha, uh -huh. here's where I've got you, Frosty. Why can't you hold a full pound of butter like some of the others? Alice, I'm surprised at you. You know very well nobody uses more than half a pound of butter on the table at any one time. Well, that's right. So why keep more of it soft enough to spread? In fact, those other refrigerators tell the customer in the care and use book that if they're not going to use the butter in a day or two, to take it out of the butter keeper and put it in the food compartment. So why have a bigger one when half a pound is all you need? <laughs> okay, Frosty, I'll remember that. Tell me, Alice, what is a true meat keeper? Wait, I'll tell you. To keep meat properly for more than a day, it must be kept just above freezing. That's just what my meat keeper does. Pull out the baffle, Ellis. Okay. Now look under it. The insulation under the baffle is left out, so I get the exact temperature for keeping meat. Every one of my competitors just keeps the same temperature as the rest of the box. You know that won't work, don't you? Yep. Now you can put it back, Ellis. All right. Take a look at the shelves in my door. They're not just hung there, they're built right in. Spaced for convenience, and they give the little lady at home freedom in selecting the food she keeps in them. Besides all this, I give them the exclusive detachable egg keeper. Take one off, Ellis. Easy does it, eh? <laughs> sure does. I hate it. Alice? Hmm? Why didn't you tell the nice lady today that I have two humid drawers for vegetables and all the foods that need moist cold? And no sloppy water drips down on them as it would if I had all that excess moisture that some of my competitors have? I told her, Frosty. You told her, you told her. But you didn't put it over, Alice, you know, you didn't. You didn't tell her I have moist cold where it's needed and only where it's needed for fruits and vegetables and meats, and only the amount that's needed to keep meats safe, and fruits and vegetables as crisp and fresh as if they'd just been picked. You don't say nearly enough about moist cold, Ellis. You really don't. It's a big point for you, and the ladies appreciate it, even if you don't. I do, Frosty. And if you say so, I'll do a lot more talking about moist cold. You can't go wrong, I promise you. I give all the moist cold that's needed where it's needed, and dry cold where that's needed in the main food compartments and for storing milk and other bottled goods. So they don't get all slimy and slippery and drip water onto foods below. And now, Ellis, we come to my famous five zones of cold. Let me do that, Frosty. I'll show you I'm on the ball. I'll just scold you once more and that'll be all. Do you mind? Well, I wouldn't take it from anybody else. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. I ask you, Ellis, do I show up to the best advantage naked like this? <laughs> you sure look good to me. But I can be even prettier if you'll use me, make me demonstrate what I can do and how I do it. You go right ahead with the five zones, and I'll take care of this for you. So don't be surprised. Jane! Jane! I need you. Oh, Jane? Yeah? Frosty wants you. Me? Cute, isn't she? Now, let's assume that Jane is the prospect. Oh, I am. I'd love to have a frost for you on my own. And who wouldn't? See what I mean, Ellis? Well, you go ahead with your story. Uh, Frosty has five zones of cold to serve every need. Now, here in the large freezer, you can keep frozen foods and ice cream indefinitely. And you get fast freezing of ice cubes. Now, this is a real freezing compartment. 
The temperature here will actually freeze food. Alice, I'm beginning to like you. Don't interrupt him, Frosty. The second zone of cold is the meat keeping zone. The meat keeper is always at exactly the right temperature to keep your meats perfectly. Now, you see, it's right there under the freeze chest, where it gets just the proper amount of cold. Now I know I like you, Alice. Oh, Frosty. The third zone is the main storage zone. Now, here you get dry cold at just the right temperature. There's room on the top shelf for as many as 20 bottles of milk or any other bottles you want to use. Now, you can see there's plenty of space on those roomy shelves for all types of foods that require dry cold. Desserts and leftovers. There's even ample room for a jumbo-sized ham. I like watermelon. She likes watermelon, Frosty. Just ask and I've got it. <sighs> Look. There's plenty of room for that big watermelon. Mmm. There's going to be a watermelon missing around here. <laughs> uh, you also have shelves in the door for jellies, cheeses, and mayonnaise, always at your fingertips. Plus, the exclusive lift-off egg keepers. <laughs> they look so easy to clean. Ah, uh, they are. Go right ahead, Ellis. Uh, in the fourth zone of cold, the humid drawers, you get moist cold. Now, you'll never know, until you have this wonderful frost-free refrigerator, how crisp and fresh vegetables and fruits are kept in this controlled, moist cold. Now, the fifth zone of cold is here, in the butter keeper. You'll have a half a pound of butter at just the right consistency when you want it to prepare mixtures for bread and cakes or for table use. There are the five zones of cold. Butter cold. Zero cold. Meat cold, dry cold, and moist cold. Each doing its job in just the right place to keep foods perfectly and make them taste better. Now I'm fully loaded so I can give out with all my sex appeal. Ellis, I love you. Oh, I think I'd better leave you two alone. Oh, don't go, Jane. I have a few added features I want to show you. Now, here on the door, is a lifetime door seal made of vinyl plastic. It's greaseproof and crackproof, and will never need replacing like those rubber gaskets that get spongy or brittle. Then, there's the three-way door latch. Right, left, or straight out. Now, if your arms are full, a touch of the elbow will open it or close it. That's because of the automatic door closer. Blame me for loving that man. <laughs> Frosty's just got a big heart. I'm a big guy, the biggest one. But I've got buddies all up and down the line. Take a look, Jane. You too, Ellis. I'll tell Jane all about your buddies, Frosty, just to prove to you I know all about those gems. OK, Ellis. But you better be good. OK, Frosty. Isn't that a beauty? Yes, it is. It's got everything Frosty has, all the same appeal. It's great for the homemaker who can't use a guy as big as Frosty. Now, that body of mine you're looking at is the guy that can help you clinch a sale with the homemaker who wants a big, frost-free refrigerator but thinks those other fellows are too rich for her blood. And talk about making competition, this baby does it. He has the lowest-priced, completely automatic refrigerator in the world, and that covers a lot of territory. Isn't he a big, handsome fellow? He's the workhorse of the line, Jane. You should see how he bowls over the farm market and grabs the fancy of women who want lots of space and tops in convenience. I'm catching on, Frosty, see? I'm emphasizing the large frozen food storage capacity by filling that tray with ice cubes, over 150 of them. Why, that big fella can be the life of the party. He can freeze and store 70 pounds of frozen foods. He's a full 11 cubic foot giant. Oh, and by the way, we make it easy to own with a small monthly payment plan. Oh, that's a cutie. Cute, yes. But he has a real story, too. He's a full-sized eight cubic foot job. Look, he's a twin to that home freezer there beside him. And a smart matching pair they are. Together, they give the homemaker 14 cubic feet of storage capacity in less space than most chest-type freezers of half that capacity. Hold it a minute, Alice. Here's where I want to do a little yakking. <laughs> Okay, Frosty. Go ahead and yak. I want to say that model for model, Westinghouse gives you colder cold and more features than any other refrigerator. Yet it costs less to operators. 
Because our famous economizer mechanism has extra power for tough jobs, like fast freezing of ice cubes, and still gives you lower temperatures than any other refrigerator. It's a full one-sixth horsepower. How many competitors can match that? I can't think of any. Now let me talk about frost free, about how we don't meet competition, we make it. In 1950, we had only one frost-free model. And did that worry the competition? In 1951, we had three models. And for 52, four frost-free models. You can now get frost-free as much as $100 lower than ever before. Completely automatic defrosting at the lowest price in history. And frost-free is still the competition they're all trying to catch up with. Madam, you get all these features, plus frost-free at far less than any comparable refrigerator on the market. Alice, if I weren't so full of food, I'd dance for you. <laughs> I wish they were prospects. Everybody's a prospect, because any refrigerator that's not completely automatic is as obsolete as a hand-cranked phonograph. And when they talk of bigger trade-ins, Alice, Remind them that they can't get a frost free anywhere except from you. Okay, Frosty. Or oh, uh, I'm going to use the freedom quiz, too. Do you know what the answers to those freedom quiz questions mean to your prospect and to you? They'll make it easier for me to show her that the frost free refrigerator is better than the one she has at home. And that frost free is better than any refrigerator she can buy. Alice, you make me very happy. Even though I'm sure now that my buddies and I won't stay along with you. You'll have us all in nice, cozy homes. Well, now that you're happy, can I go back and rest? Better ask Speedy. Come here, Ellis. We'll set you straight if it takes all night. Go on, Ellis. I wasn't so hard to take, was I? Speedy may even bake you a cake. Well, I suppose I ought to listen. And thank you, Jane, for helping out. Any time at all, Frosty. We've got to do something about Daniel Boone. Got something on your mind, Speedy? You are, Ellis. i like to see you happy, so I'm going to talk to you like a Dutch uncle. Well, I guess I can take it. I know I'm a little beauty, but when you sell me into a home, I've got to have more than beauty. I've got to perform. Well, you give the best performance of any range, Speedy. That's what I always tell them. But you don't always prove it, and it's a cinch. I'm plugged in and ready to perform. You just have to follow that guide on my platform. And when a prospect comes in, demonstrate what I can do. Oh, for gosh sake, Alice, don't just tell him, show him. Go over to Frosty. He's storing a cookie sheet we need to demonstrate me. Anything you say. Mabel, come here, please, will you? Mabel, Alice is going to try to sell me to you. I'm not going to make it too easy for him. I'd like to show you all the advantages of owning this Westinghouse electric range. All right, start showing. I'll look. Alice, start by telling her about the preheating. We'll preheat the oven to prepare for baking the cookies. One turn of the control to the desired temperature, and you see the signal light go on. When it goes off, that'll mean the oven is preheated. While you're waiting, Alice, go ahead and talk about me. Tell her about the color glance controls. You know, they make me something special. I know you always like to be sure what's cooking and at what heat. Now, with the Westinghouse electric range, you can be doubly sure. With color glance controls, you have a simple one-dial system. The changing colors show you each selected heat. Notice how easy it is to turn. Now, I said you'd be doubly sure. Up close, you can read the heat setting. And from a distance, you see red for high, Orange for medium high, yellow for medium, green for low, and blue for simmer. You see the color, and it tells you what unit's on and at what heat. It's a Westinghouse exclusive. I don't like it. Ellis, the signal light went out. Oh, you see the signal light's gone out. That means the oven's ready for our cookies. Now notice where I'm putting them. They'll bake perfectly in any place in this oven. That's what you say. Ah, uh, wait. You'll see.
Now, Ellis, the minute timer. Oh. Now we'll set the electric minute timer to the exact number of minutes we want the cookies to bake. Now, it'll tell us when they're ready. In fact, it'll time any cooking operation for you. Now, this Westinghouse range has two ovens. The large one is baking our cookies. Here's the control dial for the other oven. Oh, it works just like the large oven control. Now, here's a feature I'm sure you'll appreciate. Automatic control. Just put the food in the oven, select the temperature, set the timer, and forget it till it's ready to serve. It turns on the heat, governs the cooking time, and turns the oven off all automatically. That means you can be away from the kitchen, at work, shopping, playing canasta. Or like you, Mabel, if you work all day and come back home at your usual meal hour, you'll have a complete meal ready to serve, piping hot. Ellis, I think you're cute. <laughs> Thanks. I wish you were a dummy. Uh, and uh, another thing, these appliance receptacles, now they're also governed by the automatic control just as the oven is. Well, you could set it at night, plug in the coffee maker, and when you wake in the morning, hot coffee's waiting for you. I could do with a cup of coffee right now. There's your cue, Ellis. This is your big one. We really make competition with this next feature, the Super Corox unit. Yes, we'll make that coffee on the Super Corox unit that gets red hot in 30 seconds. Uh, excuse me. Let me show you. It's the fastest unit on the market. We'll watch it get red hot in 30 seconds. In fact, we'll put a stopwatch on it. Fifteen seconds. Twenty. Twenty-five seconds. Thirty seconds. It's red hot. In another thirty seconds, you'll have hot water for your coffee. I'll fix it. Mabel, relax and enjoy your coffee. Oh, the minute timer says the cookies are ready and just on time. We'll let them cool for a minute and then you can enjoy one of these delicious cookies with your coffee. men always chasing women. I wonder why. What am I saying? These cookies are delicious. Go on, Ellis. I got you off on the right foot. Now do your stuff. In the morning, when the family's in a hurry to get to work, you can prepare bacon and eggs on this Super Corox unit in only three minutes from the turn of the control. Not only that, it starts all your cooking faster, with speeds no other electric range can match. Now, does that make competition, or does it? You're so forceful, Ellis, and I'll bet you can cook, too. Now, Mabel, you get control heats on this unit and all Corox units. For every cooking purpose, you get accurately measured heat. There's no guesswork in cooking on Speedy. You're doing fine, Ellis. Keep bitching. Don't forget to tell her how easy I am to clean. Yes, and when it comes to cleaning, all you do is swing the unit up, and take the pan to the sink for cleaning. That's all there is to it. Now, this may be your favorite of all the features on the range. You'll always be my favorite. <clears throat> this two-level speed cooker doesn't know its own limit. Now, in this position, you get low-cost cooking of soups, stews, or complete meals. And you get better French frying, because you do it faster with this 2,000-watt unit giving off more heat to do the job. That's another feature I make competition with, Ellis. You know that most cookers have a small wattage unit. So tell that to your prospects. Right. And you don't have to reach in. All you do is... lift the unit to the top level, 
and you have another large unit for extra surface cooking. So, with the Westinghouse Electric Range, you have four surface units plus a deep well cooker. Right, Ellis. I give them extra values. Now we want to do some talking about uh, a feature I'm mighty proud of, my miracle sealed oven. Show Mabel my exclusive fiberglass seal. Tell her what it does. That's fine, Speedy. I love to listen to Ellis. The fiberglass seal shuts out disturbing air currents, giving the most even heat distribution possible. Why, the heat circulation so perfectly controlled, you get the same accurate heat in any spot in the oven. Just what does that mean, Ellis? Why, that means you can bake pies, cookies, or biscuits on the bottom set of rack glides, the middle, or way up in the broil position. And you can be sure of perfect results every time. Good going, Ellis. There's no guesswork, no trusting to luck, no juggling hot pans from one spot to another. In fact, there are no failures. Not with me. I say my Miracle Sealed Oven bakes better, more uniformly, and with greater convenience. Do you like broiled steaks and chops? Listen to Speedy asking foolish questions. But he gives you the finest possible results. The direct application of intense radiant heat sears the surface seals in all the delicious juices and cooks the inside to just the right degree. And notice the broiler's convenient at waist height. It's smokeless, too. Because melted fat drops through these narrow slots into the deep pan below. There, the hot fat is shielded from the radiant heat, so it can't smoke or burn. Cute, ain't I? The things I think of? You didn't think up Ellis. And he's cute, too. Here's another one of mine. To clean any other oven, you have to get down on your hands and knees. But not with me. I have an exclusive about that. Ellis, you'll have to lend a hand. At your service, Speedy. Did you ever have a pie spill over? You think it's quite a mess, don't you? Not with me. Just take out the bottom panel. Wipe her off, put her back. Say, it's almost magic. Thanks, Ellis. There. Do you think there's another range anywhere as wonderful as Speedy? I don't think there could be. And you know something, Ellis? When you go, I'm going to cook a meal. It'll be fun with Speedy. Catch him, huh, Chief? Ugg, ugg. He lived in America before we did. And don't even speak English. I don't understand the setup. I can't speak English. I'll need your help again, Ellis. Show us the second sealed oven, please. This one's just like my other oven, except for size. It operates on its own. So you can bake a cake in one oven while you're broiling or roasting meats in the other. That makes everybody happy. It's just the thing for families, large or small, for entertaining or baking extra foods for freezing. Now, of course, when it comes to everyday cooking, you can use either one, whichever fits the job. Now, let's look at the storage drawers. That's good, Ellis. Silent and smooth on nylon rollers. That's the special construction I get with insulation that's even in the door. And you can see the rubber bumpers, front and back. That makes them so quiet, opening and closing. They're larger than most any you'll find around, and plenty deep. You can see anything that's stored away in the back is easy to get at. You could hear a pin drop, couldn't you? Ellis, you and Speedy are super. Now you have it, Ellis. That's my story. You can see, Ellis, that with me, with the giant miracle sealed oven, with color glance controls, with a wonderful two-level speed cooker, with the fastest surface units, you're making competition. That's the story you got to tell. Do it, Ellis. And don't forget to demonstrate to sell. I'm going to talk about you and your team till I'm blue in the face. <laughs> you mean until you get crafts of the figures for writing orders, huh? <laughs> There's the team. Just look them over. You too, Mabel.
There's a model on that tea melons to fit any purse. And don't forget to tell them I can start cooking for a small down payment. So look them over carefully so you'll know all the angles. And now thank you, Mabel, for your help. What did I do? Oh, you were very encouraging. Now you'll want to go back to your friends, huh? Goodbye, Alice. Uh, but you stick around, Alice. My, do we have plenty to talk about for 52. We're loaded for bear, Speedy. With so many things to talk about, don't forget that's your guide. And I'll always help you to sell. Just let me demonstrate to prove what I can do. Speedy, you've been mighty helpful. Now I'll... Aren't we going to clean up the dishes and things? Leave everything to me, Alice. <laughs> that's Pearlie, the dishwasher. She'll sparkle and clean them for you. Hello there. Hello, fellas. <clears throat> Friend of yours? Oh. <laughs> no. Open me, Alice. Westinghouse was the first to open from the front and load from the top. That's my exclusive roll-out wash well. It was so exclusive I've been copied. But I still make the competition and others try to meet it. And it's hip-high loading with me. No worry about fine china and glassware. They're always safe when I wash them. <laughs> oh, that's Chopalong getting ready to say something. Oh, it's Waste Away. Yes, little Chopalong Waste Away. Oh, off the plate, down the drain, never have garbage can worries again. I work with a smile, I work with a song, you'll always be happy with Chop Along. Chop Along certainly rides herd on food waste. Ah, yes, it's got no chance with me. I shred the waste, I grind the bones, and Zippo, it's gone. <laughs> I've got quality, I have, first quality and a long life ahead of me because I have a double-edged shredding element. It's just like a double-edged razor. Lasts longer. <laughs> and yes, I've got a reversing switch that changes me from one edge to the other. I'm high-grade alloy steel, I am. When I work for you, say goodbye forever to garbage cans and messy sink strainer and to the odors nobody likes. Fui! And there's no place around me for pesky flies and gnats. Fui! Oh, off the plane and down the train, never have garbage can worries again. I work with a smile, I work with a song, you'll always be happy with Chop Along. Go ahead, Alice. Chop Along's longing to work. Use the tray you keep in the sink, ready to show him off. You're not nice to me. You know I'm a little show-off. Why don't you let me show off? You got me all hooked up and that's fine. I'm ready to wash dishes and glasses and pots and pans. And what do you do? You let me sit here, empty. You know you got to introduce me to your prospects and show them how I work and demonstrate me. Well, you can't do that if I'm empty. This time I'm going to help you. Watch. Plate and pan, thick and span. Bottom first, then the top. I did it for you, Alice. All loaded and ready. Put in your dishes. There's plenty of room. I have room for more and bigger dishes than any other dishwasher you can find. And I can take bigger dishes in any rack position. That's another way I make competition. I just don't meet it. Oh, now, if we only had some nice hot water. I always have plenty of hot water. That's Lanky, the water heater. Better go and see him, Alice. He sounds like he's ready to cry. Hot tears, too. I suppose I should go and listen. Last you pay a little attention to me. You know we think of you, Lanky. Oh, I stand around week after week, and I might just as well not be here. Is anything wrong with me? I'm ready to give hot water, and I mean 150-degree water automatically. 
Any minute of the day or night, but does anybody care? Don't take it so hard. Well, you neglect me like I was a stepchild. No home can get along without me. You don't think I make competition, do you? Well, I do. Who else has a 10-year protection policy like me? Who else can give you that kind of certified protection? I'll bet you never even took the trouble to read the terms of my policy. Well, I'm, I'm going to. Yes, I am. Oh, that's what you always say. You don't even know that if my tank fails or starts to leak in the first year, your customer gets a complete new heater without charge. And if it happens from the second to the fifth year, the customer still gets a brand new water heater and only has to pay transportation and installation. And there's a lot more to my story than that. You better read my policy, Ellis, and make sure you know exactly what those percentages are. I'll do it right away, Lanky. I sure will. And I got something else that makes competition. My Corox heating elements are directly immersed in the water so that all the heat is used to heat the water and isn't wasted on tank wall and outside air. That makes me the most efficient and economical water heater and I don't need any flu, so I can be installed anywhere. I'm the cleanest and safest you ever saw, so please pay me a little attention. I get awful lonesome just standing here. I promise from now on, I won't forget you and your certified protection policy and Corox heating element, Lanky. Ah, oh, you'll make me so happy, and remember when Pearlie washes the dishes, I'll be there too. She can't do it without the 150 degree water I give her. Thank you, Alice. Now we can get to work, Alice. I'm proud of myself, and I want you to see why. Put the detergent in the little cup. No, no, Ellis, you know you shouldn't have soap suds with me. That's right. What I need is approved detergent. Okay, now I'm ready. Roll me back. This is for your benefit, Ellis. Turn me on, Ellis. First, I rinse the dishes, start removing the soil. After rinsing, I drain the rinse water away and start washing with water that's 150 degrees. Hot enough to remove all the soil and hotter than hands can stand. No germs can live in it longer than a minute. You see, Alice, nothing moves but the water. And it covers every corner and every piece. I go on washing for five minutes in seven quarts of hot, detergent-conditioned water. Let's see if I can tell the story, Pearlie. The wash water is pumped away, and you rinse the dishes again. Not once, but twice. Seven quarts of clean, hot water for each rinse. We know when that's done, the dishes are thoroughly sanitized, washed, and rinsed. So you start to dry them. Fresh air is heated by the Corox unit in the bottom of the wash well, and circulated over and around the dishes. This goes on for a good 22 minutes. The signal light shows when drying begins. At the end of the drying period, the heating element and signal light shut off. And you shut off automatically. The dishes are in here, ready for the cupboard, or we can leave them with you till the next meal. The job took 37 minutes. But I was through when I turned the control to start. I save work, save dishes, and save at least seven hours a week. And I have a model for every kitchen. Look at them, Ellis. For instance, you can have me in the under-counter model. I fit into any kitchen, just slip in like a cabinet. And you can have me in the cabinet model. That way I'm self-contained, fit in with kitchen cabinets. And I have an acid-resisting, porcelain enamel work surface that you can always use. And the way you are here, you're part of the electric sink model. And here's how you make competition. Front opening, top loading, greater capacity, perfect washing and drying, and you're cheaper to install than any other dishwasher. Let me suggest something, Ellis. If I were you, I'd always talk about me and chop along at the same time. Keep us together. We're a couple of pals that'll make homemakers awfully happy. We're the only ones that can be connected together, and that means only one sink trap. I drain off through waste away. No accessories for the customer to buy. I think I ought to mention this, Ellis. Don't let the customer worry about having us installed. 
You'll be ready with the installation service. That'll make competition again, won't it? And it'll help you sell a lot of me and chop along. Any questions? You've given me all the answers, Pearlie. What more can I ask? Just make those answers work for you. And don't forget, make me work for you, too. I'll go along with that. Now, who's that? That's a little drip that just showed up around here. I may be a drip to you, but to the rest of the world, I'm dehumidifier. To be honest, Ellis, he's just a drip inside, so there won't be any drip outside. Go on and have a little talk with him. You mortified. I don't know what that means, but it must be good. Well, I never. Welcome to the family, fella. Thanks, Ellis. I'll be around from now on to solve any dampness problems for all your customers. I suppose you better tell me something about yourself. Got any rot in your attic? Are you getting personal? <laughs> Can't you take a joke? You know how dampness destroys things, causing rust and rot, mold, mildew, corrosion, all those dirty words, and warping everything? That costs folks money. That's where I come in. I control that water damage. Easy, quick, and economical. Where moisture's doing any kind of damage at all, nobody can afford to be without me. So you control moisture? Right. And I'm easy to manage, too. Plug me in anywhere. I'm portable. And small, but awfully thirsty for all that destructive moisture. I send damp rot right down the drain. I put an end to costly and needless repairs and replacements. And I cost only a few cents a day to operate. No more than a 200 watt light bulb. Why, Ellis, I pay for myself. Isn't that good? Are you trying to sound like a real go-getter? I go get moisture, sure enough, anywhere. In basement and recreation room, in hobby room and storage room, in beach homes, locker rooms, library, and in the home laundry. I suppose you work outside the home, too. What to hear you tell it, you probably stop moisture damage in stores, warehouses, bank vaults, lofts, beauty parlors, tool rooms, stock rooms, libraries, telephone exchanges. <laughs> You're a complicated little guy, aren't you? Me? I'm awful simple. And I'm trouble-free. I just draw in the moist air through the front grills, pass it over cold, refrigerated coils, then take out the moisture, and it goes down the drain. I blow the air back in the room, warm and dry. Easy as pie, ain't it? Well, I guess that tells me all about you. Not bad, either. I read about your free home trial without obligating your customer. I know, and so will you, that they won't let me go after they try me. Say, maybe you're right. That's where your five-year guarantee plan comes in. You catch on fast. Be sure and talk to your customers about me, Ellis. I sure will. And I'll be seeing more of you. Plenty more. Say goodbye to moisture damage from now on. Ellis, I'm glad you welcomed the little drip into the family. A nice little guy at that. I'll be bragging about him, Pearlie. Meet the Westinghouse Laundry Twins. I'm Lena, the laundromat. My name's Dinah. I'll get your clothes clean. I'm your clothes dryer. Wash, Wash day, you'll have nothing to do, cause the Westinghouse Twins do the work for you. Looks like I've got another visit to make, Pearlie. Hello, Ellis. We thought you were going to forget us. I couldn't do that. You're such well-behaved twins. Now, I want to tell you about my way to save door and the water safe. Whoa. I got the... Girls, one at a time. You'll have me through a ringer. No ringer with me, Ellis. Dinah, may I have him first? I'll be ready when you need me, Lena. You know, I haven't had a drop of water in me for weeks. I'm hooked up and just stand here. I'm sorry, Lena. Well, you should be sorry. But I'll help you. Now, we'll do this just as we would for a prospect to show how wonderful I am. I've had Mitzi waiting. Here she comes. It's nice of you to help, Mitzi. Oh, I'd do anything for a laundromat. See, Ellis, the ladies love me. But that's easy to understand because I'm as simple as one, two, three. 
Now, we'll just make believe Mitzi is a new prospect and doesn't know a thing about me. Now, Ellis, what's the first thing you tell a prospect? Let your own eyes tell you which washer to buy. Good, Ellis, good. She's going to see how my wash-away action first gets the dirt out of the clothes and into the water. Then, and this is important, she'll see my rinse-away action drain the water and the dirt away from the clothes and not strain it back through them. We'll do it with my amazing 500 tests. I have 18 linen tea towels ready for you up there on the shelf. You know, you should have them ready all the time. Don't forget that, Ellis. I'll remember. Ah, uh -uh, just a minute, Ellis. Let her put them on my way to save door. She'll enjoy it and see how easy I am to work with. Show Mitzi that the size of the load is medium, then let her set the water saver at medium. It's as simple as one, two, three. Weigh the clothes. The way to save door shows you the size of the load. Now set the water saver for that load. Now drop in the towels. No bending, no stooping. Add one half cup of detergent. Now throw in the 500 test seeds. Why are we doing this? Well, the seeds represent the curds, lint, and dirt that the laundromat's exclusive slant will wash out of the clothes and then drain away from the clothes, not through them. Now just set the control dial at medium and pull out the dial. Isn't this easy to do? Here we go, washing away the wash day blues. Now, this is going to be a quickie, Mitzi, just for you. I'll operate the dial to speed up the cycle of washing, rinsing, and spinning. Let me go through a one-minute wash, Ellis, so Mitzi can see my exclusive patented washing action. You can explain it's because of my inclined basket that turns round and round at an angle and gives washing action that's different from any other washer on the market. That's where I make competition that none of them can meet. Now advance the control dial slowly to the first drain. We're speeding up the cycle, you know. Let's see if Ellis can tell it, Lena. I sure can. After the first drain, we have the spray rinse. Now, we'll let that go on for one minute and drain away. And then advance the control dial slowly to first deep rinse. Fill and rinse for a minute, and then dial ahead to drain. You can hear the water drain away. The laundromat deep rinse is twice, not just once. So we'll move up to second deep rinse. Wash away, rinse away, this is it. The towels are tumbling more than an acrobat at a circus. You know what that means? Each deep rinse is the same as dipping the clothes up and down in the water 700 times. Imagine that. You'll see how every speck of soap and soil is flushed away when I've finished. Now to final drain. You've seen the wash away, rinse away action. Now you'll see another, the drain away action that really makes the difference. The rinse water is drained away from the clothes, never through them. And then, the dial ahead to the final high-speed spin. Good, Ellis, very good. Now let me spin a couple of minutes at high speed. I spin clothes practically dry, but I can't injure even the daintiest clothes. You can shut me off. Of course, I shut off automatically, except that you're speeding me up. Let Mitzi remove the towel. Yes, let me do it, Ellis. Easy, isn't it? No stooping, no bending. And feel inside me. See how clean I am? I clean myself every time. No lint trap to clean out, no tub to wipe out, no floor to mop up. And now, Ellis, let Mitzi help you look for the black rinse seed.
If you can find two of them, I'll be awful mad at myself. Not one in sight yet. Alina said the seeds would all be drained away from the towels, just like the soil is drained away. I knew I wouldn't put them back in the towel. It proves what I say. My wash away, rinse away, and my exclusive inclined basket gets dirt out. My drain away action keeps dirt out. I still don't like it. Why, Pamela, you're cold. I'm freezing. Oh, you poor dear. You can borrow my coat. Why, thank you. You should have seen her when she was in lingerie. None so far. Not a rinse seed. That's what we meant when we said, let your own eyes tell you which washer to buy. If you saw any other automatic washer try it, you'd find between 50 and 300 seeds. And the only reason you'd find them is because the wash and rinse water is drained away through the clothes, and the clothes strained out the seeds. And remember, those seeds represent soap, curds, lint, and dirt. Oh, Lena. Lena, you're wonderful. Don't forget me. <laughs> okay, Dinah. We'll see what you have to say for yourself. Have Mitzi stay, Alice. We'll sell me to her. First, I'm going to ask a silly question. <laughs> Mitzi, would you like to carry a heavy basket of wet clothes out to a line and try to hang them in all kinds of weather while you're hoping for the sun to shine? Or would you rather just drop them in me and forget them and let me dry them, rain or shine, winter or summer, day or night? The first time I saw you, Dinah, I wanted you. Oh, love at first sight. Hot dogs. They're all like that about me. Um, Alice, let Mitzi drop the clothes in. Isn't it easy? Hot dog. No bending, no stooping, no... Now, just set my exclusive dry dial. You can choose dry and have the clothes ready for immediate storage, or damp for ironing. It's always sunny weather inside a Westinghouse clothes dryer. Yes, every day is a perfect drying day. See, I tumble your clothes gently in sun-warm air. Westinghouse airflow is exclusive with me. I'm the only dryer that blows warm air right into the center of the tumbling clothes. Let Mitzi reach in and feel the warm air. Mmm, the warm air feels good. By a lucky coincidence, I happen to have some samples of my drying to show you while I go on working. Donna, you're spoofing. You've got those samples here on purpose. <laughs> well, all right, maybe I do. Uh, they're over yonder on the shelf. Uh, Ellis, uh, you know all about them. Explain to Mitzi. The towels on the right were dried on the clothesline. These on the left, dryer dried. You can see they're lighter and fluffier. Now look at these identical robes. I'll bet you can tell which one was dried on the clothesline. This one. That was easy, wasn't it? Remember, Alice, I always say clotheslines are for the boys. By another coincidence, I just happen to have these color samples on the shelf above me. Oh, the one nearest Mitzi is a line-dried fabric. Notice how it's lost its color fastness? There's no sun fading with my kind of drying. And the clothes last longer, too. Oh, you do some talking, Ellis. The Westinghouse dryer saves you work. No lifting and carrying heavy baskets. No more clothesline chores. No stretching or bending to hang clothes or take them down. And it saves you time because you can forget the weather and wash and dry anytime. No worries about rain or snow. No worries about dust and dirt and soot. And it's so easy for you. Just use the handy shelf for easy loading and unloading, set the dial, and turn on the dryer. You don't have to wait around, because the dryer shuts itself off when the clothes get to the dryness you selected. Alice, let Mitzi take out the clothes. We want to give her a pleasant surprise. Aren't they lovely and soft and so fluffy? That's because of the Westinghouse airflow. All I say is fooey. Thanks, Mitzi. You too, Dinah. No, I think I will turn in. It's been a long night. Remember to mention we're the Westinghouse laundromat. 
and drier. We're America's favorite twins. When I look at you two, how could I forget? I think they're adorable. Good night, Alice. Good night, Betsy. I'm Lena, the laundromat. My name's Dinah. I'll get your clothes clean. I'm your clothes dryer. Wash day, you'll have nothing to do, cause the Westinghouse twins do the work for you. Before I go, I want to tell you all, I appreciate the trouble you've taken tonight. You know how things have been going with me, and you've given me a mighty big lift. I am happy to be working with a fine family like yours. You just watch me from now on, and you'll see me prove it. We'll be ready to do our stuff anytime, Ellis, and show them how to make competition. We'll let the other fella just try to meet it. Good night, all. Bobby, why did you say those awful things? Because it's true. I don't like it, and I hate it. It smells bad. I can't stand Limburger cheese. Here, you take it. That's what I said. Make competition, don't just meet it. Mr. Holman. Uh, the, was, was I saying something? Mr. Holman, you've been asleep. Been asleep? <laughs> I guess I was asleep. Thanks, Andy, for waking me. It's pretty late. Yeah. yeah I guess I'd better be getting home. Uh, good night, Andy. Good night, Mr. Holman. I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> well, Alice, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. You don't believe it. I knew you wouldn't. I said it would sound screwy, and I don't know whether I believe it. Well, results are what count. You say you've been getting results ever since. I sure have. Then it must have happened. You can understand why I've been playing the competition story up big. We don't meet competition, we make it, and that's for sure. Well, this all fits in with the big campaign we were talking about at the hotel showing a few weeks ago. Would you hand me that manila envelope, please? Yeah. Thanks. Now, Ellis, you know the spectacular job done in 51 on individual appliances. There was the uh, Countess Frost-Free promotion, the laundromat rinse demonstration, the rain stopwatch promotion, Operation Kingpin for the dishwasher, and on top of all that, the spectacular football TV. Sure, I remember, Phil. I think they were great. Maybe I should have used them more. Maybe. Well, 
1952, Westinghouse is bringing radio and television coverage of the Republican and Democratic conventions. They'll follow this with a 13-week Get Out the Vote series of half-hour programs and then cover election eve and election night. Now, Westinghouse is sponsoring the first complete television show of this kind that America has ever known. Now, this all starts in July, but right now, Westinghouse is staging another great event, a Freedom Fair. Well, it ought to work out pretty good. Freedom Fair is the big spring selling event of all Westinghouse major appliance dealers. It's a, a gala showing of the 1952 models designed to bring prospects uh, to the fair in your store. Now, Mrs. Homemaker will be interested, and here's why. It interprets the freedoms the 1952 Westinghouse major appliances bring into the home. Freedom Fair gives you a chance to really announce the new models, to, to build store traffic, and a chance to cash in locally on the biggest announcement promotion in Westinghouse history. Now, Freedom Fair will give you a chance to cash in locally on all of our promotions and public acceptance of Westinghouse appliances. It will do a mass selling job, making it possible for you to do an individual selling job. Just tell me about Freedom Fair. All right. Now, here's how it's teed off. Westinghouse sets the stage for Freedom Fair with this big double page spread in the April 11th issue of Life and the April 16th issue of the Saturday Evening Post. Now, there's an ad that has pull. It will reach out to your prospects right in this trading area. And Freedom Fair will be announced on TV, too. Betty Furness sets the stage. She'll demonstrate the product she'll be selling for you in all three commercials on Westinghouse Studio One, April 14th. Listen to this. Go to the Westinghouse Freedom Fair. You'll find it at every Westinghouse dealer store in every town in the United States. I know you'll find it exciting. See these seven great Westinghouse appliances and learn how they save you hours of freedom from drudgery every day. For instance, here's freedom from all the mess and nuisance of defrosting. When you own this amazing new Westinghouse frost-free refrigerator, your defrosting chores are gone forever because it keeps itself frost-free. And here's the reason. This magic button, the sign of the frost-free system, you never touch it. Every time you close the door, this knob hits the magic button. And the moment that frost starts to build up in the freeze chest, the button automatically gives a signal that starts the frost-free system working. It defrosts itself so fast that your frozen foods stay safely, steadily frozen always. And if you look for a drip pan or a jar to empty in the frost-free, you won't find any. It doesn't need any because the defrost water evaporates automatically. You're free forever from emptying it. And look at the capacity in this great refrigerator. It brings you freedom from extra shopping trips because it holds a whole week's supply of food for the average family. Now, we reach the homemaker in still another way, and here it is. In selected markets all over the country, newspaper ads will tell the Westinghouse Freedom Fair story. And they'll carry dealer listings. I'd like your name on that list. You see, Ellis, you can see that Freedom Fair is started with a bang. The story will go into millions of homes, but we don't drop it there. After the kickoff comes the follow-up, and here it is. Individual product campaigns will appear in national magazines on the refrigerator, dishwasher, range, and laundromat. Now, still pounding on Freedom Fair, 10 million television viewers will see the new products demonstrated by Betty Furness on Westinghouse Studio One week after week. Newspapers will also sell product features plus Freedom Fair in the follow-up campaign with ads on the refrigerator, dishwasher, range, and laundromat. There's a great campaign with a real follow-up. It sounds okay to me, Phil. But even with Freedom Fair teed off and all of the follow-ups working for you, It'll all be wasted unless you get people into your store. Without people, you can't sell merchandise. There are things you must do to build store traffic. Blank out your store window and begin to create teaser interest. Follow this up by dressing your store window. Put in a Freedom Fair display. Have it tell the Freedom Stories. Dress up your store with floor displays. Tell the Freedom Stories. Freedom from defrosting. 
New cooking freedom, freedom from dishwashing slavery, freedom from wash day worries, freedom from weather worries, freedom from hot water shortage, freedom from garbage mess. Give a press preview of your Freedom Fair. Invite leading citizens as well as representatives of newspapers, radio, and TV. Show them the new models in the Freedom Fair setting. Whirl up your public with newspaper ads like this, inviting everyone to a Freedom Fair store party. Use radio to advertise your store parties. Use TV to advertise the store parties and the freedoms that Westinghouse appliances bring into the home. Whirl up your public with these planned parties. Have inexpensive giveaways such as potholders, glasses, or cookbooks. Advertise a daily or weekly door prize. And of course, make them electric appliances. Give one grand prize, a new 1952 Westinghouse major appliance. Make this major giveaway the feature of special newspaper, radio, and TV advertising. Here's a whole page of helpful hints to tell you how to make your Freedom Fair parties run smoothly. A suggestion ad, a letter you can send to a selected list, and a postcard to follow up. Then there are suggestions on how to run your store party, what the program should include, and a checklist to make sure the party runs smoothly. And when the traffic's in the store, make quickie demonstrations. We'll have shown everyone how to make them. On the laundromat, Demonstrate the 500 test. At the range, make coffee and cookies. Use the freedom quiz at the refrigerator. Have every homemaker who comes to the parties fill out the Freedom Fair prospect card for the door prizes and the big prize. Well, here's a prospect card. The record will show you what appliances the prospect owns and how old they are. Then you'll know what you can sell her. This will give you a brand new list of up-to-date prospects to work on. But don't stop there. Keep on with your Freedom Fair promotions. Continue demonstrating the appliances. And go on with your newspaper advertising and your displays. Keep them all working for you. <laughs> you make it sound awful good. It sure is. And I'll see that you get the entire Freedom Fair package. Thanks. And uh, I'll keep this? I brought it for you. Well. Don't forget, this is going to be a Westinghouse year. Goodbye, Ellis. See you soon again. So long, Phil, and thanks. How about you and I having dinner together some night? By you! I have a mind to call the police. Oh, madam, I, I thought the dummy, I mean, I thought you were the... I, I beg your pardon.
It's absolutely terrifying. You all know that we're not lying. So she may as well start to finish this job to clean up this dirty, messy kitchen. Good morning, madam. I'm the man from the Westinghouse Freedom Fair. They say that Lincoln freed the slaves. With that, I disagree. Women have been slaves for years. Till Westinghouse set them free. You don't have to shirk. Plenty time to play. If you do your work the Westinghouse way. Come along. You don't have to slave away, life can be very gay, wouldn't you like to be in heaven? So come on the run, and see the way it's done, in Westinghouse Wives Heaven. Chop along, chop along, or waste away, I get rid of garbage in a nice clean way. Off the plate, in the sink, down the drain. Never have garbage can worries again. Blanky keeps the water hot, water hot, water hot. Blanky keeps the water hot, morning, noon, or night. He never fails in trials or tribulations. Westinghouse water heater, best in the nation. Wash dishes. Burley makes the work seem like play. The dishwasher every woman wishes is the roll out wash well way. She's Lena, the laundromat. Her name's Dinah. She'll get your clothes clean. She's your clothes dryer. Wash day, you have nothing to do. Cause the Westinghouse twins do the work for you. Wash away, rinse away, Westinghouse laundromat. Wash away, action plus dirt to rout. Wash away, rinse away, action is why. The Westinghouse laundromat is your best buy. Clothes lines are for the birds. The Westinghouse clothes dryer, that's for you. The fastest acting unit in the Westinghouse electric range. So for baking or broiling, frying or boiling, we're the speedy, speedy Westinghouse range. It's super! All the temperatures just right. The best refrigerator, which you can see. Westinghouse Frost Free, that's for me. No defrosting, no defrosting. Westinghouse Frost Free, that's for me.
sorry, listen to this, just listen. Now chop along and waste away, you see. And how the laundromat and dryer make clothes clean. The Clorox beat is new, the frost free is for you. At the Westinghouse. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.